The Advanced Technological Education Grant from the National Science Foundation is funding provided by the federal government. It'll allow us to strengthen agriculture education with hands-on demonstration and training. The grant focuses on multiple facets of influence. With the grant, we will be developing a precision agriculture workforce ladder through secondary, college, and incumbent worker education. It integrates emerging technologies and farm data. The grant aims to train high school instructors on in-depth concepts related to agriculture. The training better equips the instructors to teach five unique lessons to high school students, allowing those students the ability to learn about agriculture in the classroom and through hands-on training provided with the simulation trailer. In addition, the NSF grant offers college students the opportunity to apply simulated lab scenarios with their classroom lectures. Whether the students enrolled in ag electronics and hydraulics or data collection methodologies, the NSF grant and the simulation trailer provides first-hand familiarity to real-world challenges. And finally, Customized training can be implemented with businesses and industry to better skills, knowledge, and strategies with agricultural industry leaders and producers. Well, the Precision Ag Learning Simulator is a trailer that was outfitted by the National Science Foundation through a grant to uh, Northeast Community College. NSF funds also allowed us to purchase a compact utility tractor. This allows us to be able to power our planter and sprayer, allowing us to keep a real world feel while still maintaining the portability that any portable learning center needs. It also contains a two row planter that is completely precision activated. It has the ability to change population and hybrids or varieties on the go without any physical change to the planter itself. It also has a small scaled sprayer that has section control. We're able to use variable rate technology on it to change the rates of application. We're also able to change between two different mixes so that as we're moving through the field or the area that we're applying, it can change between mix A and mix B on the go. We have a Kubota RTV along with the compact utility tractor that are both equipped with GPS. This allows us to use them both in learning simulations, they both have auto steer capability that allows us to show the technology that is used in the real world to maintain straight lines and ensure proper coverage as they move through the field. We'll use soil moisture probes to help to train our industry so that they can make better use of irrigation and change our common practices so that we irrigate when we need and the amount that we need in order to save our natural resources. I also fully expect we'll be adding additional things as time goes on as the needs of the industry is more fully understood and as specified needs come to us. With help from the National Science Foundation, we've been able to outfit our Precision Ag trailer with the latest and greatest technology in precision agriculture. It allows innovative training to companies influencing the agriculture industry through customized training opportunities that are tailored to each company's needs. It introduces the passion for agriculture and innovative technology to faculty and students at the high school level and the college level. It provides hands-on training and collaboration outside of the classroom that fosters the connection with students and agriculture careers. It's really a new um, innovative way to get kids more interested in agriculture. The National Science Foundation grant is a federal funded program that connects high school educators with precision agriculture and specifically teach the high school instructors five unique lessons. These unique lessons then can be given to students at their high schools that will teach them the facets of precision agriculture. It's been really great. Lonnie's done a great job with all of the information he's provided for us. And then I as a high school instructor 
uh, was able to go in and put my touch on it so that it would be usable in my classroom and hopefully a lot of other high school classrooms because college and high school are a little bit different. So it's been really good and it's I've learned a lot also through the process. My role in the grant was to work and collaborate with other high school ag teachers to hone in a lesson plan that can be used in our classrooms. Lesson one is called Precision Agriculture. What is it? And it gives a general overview of the history of agriculture and how precision agriculture has evolved to what it is in today's industry. Lesson two is entitled What It Can Do. It covers the type of equipment, how that equipment benefits the producer. It teaches the students how producers can better utilize their resources, allowing them to be more productive using less inputs. Lesson three is labeled Precision Agriculture. What can I do with the data? The end goal with it is to make better decisions uh, that are going to make us better stewards of the land. Lesson four is actually a visit with the Precision Agriculture Learning Trailer. It allows us to take our simulator to the classroom so that the students can then practice what they have learned in the previous three lessons. Lesson five is a discussion of career opportunities in Precision Agriculture. It allows the students to realize that a career in agriculture isn't just the operations of farming. There are other areas that this technology is used within agriculture outside of operations. Well, the Precision Ag Learning Simulator is a trailer that was outfitted by the National Science Foundation through a grant to uh, Northeast Community College. The NSF funds also allowed us to purchase a compact utility tractor. It also contains a two row planter. It has the ability to change population and hybrids or varieties on the go. It also has a small scaled sprayer that has section control. We're able to use variable rate technology on it to change the rates of application. We're also able to change between mix A and mix B on the go. We have a Kubota RTV along with the compact utility tractor that are both equipped with GPS. This allows us to use them both in learning simulations. They both have auto steer capability that allows us to show the technology that is used in the real world. I also fully expect we'll be adding additional things as time goes on as the needs of the industry is more fully understood and as specified needs come to us. High school students learn in a very diverse way. Some students might be able to grasp an item by just hearing it but once they are able to hear it and see it and even be able to have a hands-on activity that they actually learn the material. The uh, National Science Foundation grant will really make a positive impact on the curriculum. I'm looking forward to adding it into our ag classes.